Hi, I'm Darlene. I'm the dietitian on cardiovascular surgery. I'd like to talk to you today about the importance of healthy eating both before and after your surgery. So before your surgery, it's important to consider two things. The quality of your diet and the amount of calories and protein that you eat. So as far as the quality of your diet goes, a diet pattern like the Mediterranean diet would be a heart healthy diet. So a diet that's high in plant-based foods, so fruits and vegetables, whole grains, nuts and seeds, and legumes. And then it's you might consider using herbs and spices to flavor your food instead of using salt. Um, also important to use healthy oils like canola oil and olive oil instead of using butter. Eat fish and chicken um, on a weekly basis and then limit the amount of red meat that you would eat to just several times a month. This. Uh, diet pattern has been shown to be um, beneficial both for heart health but also for brain health um, and for preventing certain cancers. There are other diet patterns that are similar to that that would also be healthy. If you find that your diet quality is currently poor, you might consider trying to change your diet to a healthier diet pattern. And the way that you want to do this is on a very gradual basis. So just choose one aspect of your diet and work on that and improve that one and then move on to another one. Remember that it's a process and that this will take a long time. The other thing that you want to consider is the amount of calories and protein that you have. So what you're looking for is to try and maintain a healthy weight. So if you find that you're overweight, then losing weight very slowly would be the recommended way to do that. When losing weight, it's important to remember that you don't want to lose muscle mass, you want to lose fat, so you want to do it very slowly. Losing muscle before your surgery would um, hinder you, the healing process. So make sure that your weight loss is only about half a pound a week or even less. If you find that you're losing weight without trying to, this is not good for um, healing after your surgery. So you want to try and reverse that process. If your appetite is poor, you want to look at increasing fat content um, and the protein content of your meals. So looking for things that have more calories in the same volume. The other thing that you might consider is eating um, more often during the day, so adding in small snacks. And then finally, if you find that you're not able to increase your weight or at least stop the weight loss with those strategies, then looking for something like a food supplement like Boost or Onshore to supplement your intake during the day. Um, there are some that are more calorie dense, so looking for Boost Plus and Onshore Plus instead of just the regular ones and take either one, two or three per day depending on how low your intake is. The other thing to consider is that a lot of sugar in your diet will increase your blood sugars and make it harder for you to heal after your surgery. So limiting how much pop and sweets and even fruit juices that you have is going to be important both before and after your surgery. After you, your surgery, the amount of protein and calories that you need actually increases. Even though you may find that you're not moving around a whole lot, you actually need more calories and more protein than you did before. So before a surgery, most healthy individuals only need two to three servings of protein in a day. After your surgery, you're going to need somewhere between four and eight servings of protein per day based on your height and weight. The other thing to consider after your surgery is that you might need more vitamins. And so you may need a multivitamin in order to meet those needs. 
especially if your appetite is poor and you're not eating enough, or if you've eliminated a whole food group from your diet. So if you don't eat any grains or you don't eat many fruits and vegetables or dairy products, you might benefit from having a multivitamin. If your diet is well balanced but just poor for the few weeks after your surgery, then you can stop the multivitamin as soon as your diet returns to normal. If you've eliminated food groups completely from your diet for other reasons, then you might consider just staying on a multivitamin um, long term. So after your surgery, controlling glucose levels will be especially important. So like I said before, make sure that after your surgery you don't fill up on pop and fruit juices and sweets. Controlling your blood sugars is really important for wound healing and avoiding infections. If you aren't able to eat enough after your surgery, the same uh, suggestions as before your surgery apply. So trying to eat small frequent meals, eating snacks between your meals, and trying boost and onshore if you need to increase the amount of calories that you eat. The other thing is that if you find that you're not eating very well, please let your nurse know or the dietitian know and we will help you to get the calories that you need to heal properly. Nutrition is very important for healing and recovery after your surgery.